Hello, mi gente, and welcome back to Nata Knows Best. So today is going to be an interesting episode because I don't have a recipe for you guys. As a matter of fact, this is 100% intentional because I thought I'd take a jab at the bake a cake without a recipe challenge. This is a video that I've been seeing sprinkled around YouTube and I thought to myself, I don't think I can do this. And because I'm not sure I can do it, I thought, why not film myself do it and epically fail? So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching, let's get into it. Let me just say this now, although I love baking, I have always baked with a recipe. I've never just done it off the top of my head because as you guys might know, baking is a science and if one ingredient is slightly off, you could totally mess up your cake. So even in past videos that you've seen where I've made cake recipes, I have always either printed my recipe or written it down and read it while I was filming my videos. So with all of that being said, I'm just gonna start with the basics. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to the standard 350, and then I guess we'll start on what ingredients? Starting. Alrighty, so I took out some of the basic ingredients that you normally would find in a cake. I know I have to start with my wet ingredients. The only problem is I don't have butter. I only have vegetable oils. So we're gonna try that out. For my cake, I'm thinking I wanna do chocolate because I'm still in a very chocolatey mood ever since Valentine's Day. So I think I'm gonna do half a cup of vegetable oil with one cup of sugar. So, we'll see how that turns out. So this is half a cup. Oh, actually this is one third a cup. So I guess we're doing one third. Again, I'm totally improvising this. A cup of sugar. So I'll go ahead and start mixing. I know I have to add eggs, so I'm just gonna add two eggs and see how that turns out. I think that's a decent ratio, but who knows. This would be a good time to add my vanilla extract. I'm just gonna free ball this anyway. I usually would even if I had a recipe, so. I think that about covers our wet ingredients, so I guess I'll start with our dry. I'm thinking for dry ingredients, I because I'm making a chocolate cake, I should do maybe a cup of all-purpose flour and maybe I'm going to do the old-fashioned method. All right. And then around this point, you should definitely add baking powder. Again, not sure on the ratio for that. So I'm thinking two teaspoons. Let's do that. And I'm gonna go in with a fork and just whisk all of this together. Madre mia, this is going so <laughs> Keep whisking. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna say this right now. Something looks really off about this mixture. <gasps> I forgot milk. Only problem is I don't actually have milk. I have almond milk, so I guess I'll be adding some of that. 
we might just have brownies instead of chocolate cake. Or we might not have anything edible. <sighs> oh God. Okay, so this is starting to look a little better, but it is still reminding me of brownies. So I guess we're just gonna go with that. Yeah, this might turn out like a brownie of some sorts. Here comes the question about baking time. And again, I'm not sure. We put our oven to preheat at 350 degrees. I feel like for a pan size this big, we should try maybe 20 minutes. So I, ooh, very hot. I just took out our mixture and I can already tell you it looks like a brownie. It smells like a brownie. I guess it's just time to see if it tastes like a brownie and it's not supposed to. Remember, this was baking a cake without a recipe, not baking brownies. Mm. <laughs> um, the biggest problem I'm having with this is that it seems like it's moist and then when you bite into it, it's not. Overall, I would say I did okay at this challenge. So if I had to rate myself, I would give myself a six out of 10. Pardon the interruption. I was in the middle of editing this and I just have to say, I lied to y'all. When I turned off the camera, I had a few other bites of that brownie and I practically choked. By far, that was the driest thing I think I've ever made. So forget the six out of 10. That was definitely like a, a three and a half. Baby, that was a three and a half. That was not good. So enjoy the video. Continue watching. Just don't make this. Do not, don't, don't make this. Don't make this recipe, please. So there you have it guys. That was my attempt at making a cake without a recipe. If you liked this type of food challenge video, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Tune in next week for a real recipe video because I definitely have one lined up for you guys. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching Nathano's Best. What is that? What is that? Mm. It's not done cooking. That could have been it. It's not done cooking. <laughs>